All right, so we're a little bit late, about nine minutes late. But I've actually already been babbling. I did a whole nine minutes of opening um, before my husband came in and pointed out that, uh, that I didn't press the on button. So my name is Jenny Breeden. I do the webcomic that's called The Devil's Panties. And hopefully I'm going to tr be trying to do one of these live streams uh, once a month, thanks to um, the patrons. Over on Patreon, they've been donating enough that I do one live stream that is for everybody um, once a month. And if you're a patron, then you can suggest uh, things for me to draw tonight. We do have one suggestion, although the individual who suggested it doesn't get off of work until 8.30, so I'm going to wait until then to do it. Um, I've set some stuff up, so it'll be interesting. Uh, some of the stuff that I have um, to let people know for this, uh, this month is that I showed off the last live stream that I was working on a coloring book, and it is now available in uh, the store. Uh, so I've got this, this coloring book that we put together that's what not say in the bedroom. And uh, we put a bunch of games and stuff in it. Um, I found out that there is uh, multicultural crayons that at the conventions we're going to try to sell these. Um, we're going to include these with the book. And we do also have um, the devil dolls are all finished up. And they are also in the store. Um, and so let me see if I can show you guys the store. This should work. Which is awesome. So the Devil Girls are available. And let's see, those are plushies and cards. I think we should have Devil Shorts is the coloring book. Yeah, so we've got the coloring book in here with the, uh, the cats and what to, not to say in the bedroom. And then we've got the What Not Say in the Bedroom coloring book, which is a lot of fun. Okay, let's see if I can navigate back. I'm advanced. I think that worked. Okay, so the other option we have is that um, to make comments, you can either go to the YouTube page and comment, or we've got um, Twitter, if you can do at Jenny Breeden. Uh, and Twitter, then then I can hopefully see the comments there. We have six viewers, seven viewers, and so if somebody can go hello, so that we know, we can hopefully see what's what's going on and see people talk to it, talking to us and uh, making sure that we hear you. Um, yeah, I I really like the Devil Girl that finished up. We do have an angel in production. Um, she's still being made, and so once she's done, she'll, she's going to go up on the store as well. I really like, so I had um, two younger sisters, and people would always buy us, if they bought us toys, they would get three of the same toy so we wouldn't fight, but then we didn't know whose toy was whose, and I'd always have to gnaw on the foot of the doll or something that we had, so I knew which one was my toy. So on the Devil Girl, she has a, uh, you can put your name, um, and say, I'm Shoulder Devil's toy. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, you put your name on her so you don't have to gnaw on her foot, which, you know, you can if you want. All right. So, we have some options. Um, which, I don't, I haven't had anybody say hello, so I don't know if I'm talking to myself or not. Because um, the group chat is silent. Oh, I should check the... Yeah, it looks like the YouTube is silent. Okay, oh, hello, yay, awesome. Ryan Collins said, yay, Jenny is using technology, not failing. Yeah, I do, I do. It's 50-50, I think. There's 50-50 of, uh, of whether or not I, I fail with technology. Oh, awesome. Hello, Mark Wright, and hello, um, D. Harmana Writer. I'm probably going to realize what that means later. Um, awesome. Okay, so we've got a couple of people saying hello. Third, or would I be second? Okay. Okay, so the the uh, Harman, uh, Harma writer is uh, apparently says they're first. Okay. So excellent. We have communication up. We have sound up. We have lighting up. Oh my God, Obi's been working on lighting. It's been amazing. Um, 
So I'm going to I'm going to scribble on something. I'm going to scribble something. So if your patron uh, makes some suggestions for what I should draw, uh, those will be kind of uh, Octo's drawings. And then, or I could work on some um, devil's panties. Um, I should do some devil's panties. So I'm going to pull some stuff up to work on. Let's see. We've got, oh, I should switch this over so you guys can see what I'm seeing. It's going to get weird for a moment. So bear with me. Open this and then close it really fast before, oh my god. There I go. All right. I'm just going to trust and have faith that this is still working even without me seeing my face babbling along. Um, da, 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 da. Jack Kerouac fan. Ah, excellent. Um, somebody had, had figured out what Dharma writer is. Oh, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> I'm going to see Debbie on Sunday and I'm going to throw paint at her. She's been in, um, Maybe I shouldn't say what she's done because because might be incriminating evidence. Um, so so yes, there's going to be more cartoons later in the month about um, Holly, uh, the Indian holiday uh, where they throw paint at each other and we go out and do it uh, once a year. And so so Dharma Rider is going to be there and I'm going to throw paint at her mostly at her butt because that's the most fun. Um, okay. Okay, let's see, uh, Octo, I'm going to draw an Octo, I'm going to draw an Octo that is, um, I'm going to draw an Octo of this, of this boy with the plunger, just because he is so much fun. Uh, he's going to be the um, Dino Octo. Or I could probably ink a previously penciled Octo, like Rainbow Dash, or rarity. Um, I have this owl octo that's kind of terrifying. Um, or I had the creation of Adam Octo with a flying spaghetti monster. He was fun. Okay, so I think I've got these. I have to press no worries, groovy some, and weird comments. Okay, excellent. And Debbie's on here. That's fantastic. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do the uh, the Octo Dinosaur. I'm going to pull this up in um, Manga Studios. Let's see. Da -da -da, da -da. Oh, and so then we're going to um, Emerald City next week. And that's where we're going to have the um, the skin tone, multicultural, what not to say in the bedroom uh, crayon box for the uh, for the what not to say in the bedroom. We have no idea if they're going to sell very well or not. Let's see, child with a plunger. It was actually my sister who wanted. There's a um, there's a kind of onesie from Japan that is uh, kind of grown-up giant onesies, and they usually have hoods. Uh, Surly Queen has um, a, uh, a, a penguin onesie, and my sister wanted a dinosaur onesie, and I tried to get it for her, but um, they needed like three months to ship, and by then it was just too close to Christmas. So my mom ended up getting her the dinosaur onesie for her birthday. So this is the inspiration of the uh, the dinosaur onesie that's in the the cover of of the coloring book, which I just love drawing these giant eyeballs. When I was in elementary school, we would draw alligators like this. Maybe I should give him some nostrils. Yeah, dinosaurs have nostrils. Okay. Um, so yeah, the Emerald City next week should be interesting in uh, Seattle because I think we're right next to Randy and um, Danielle. Actually, 
maybe I should switch this over so you're only seeing the artwork and so we don't have a quick flip over to watching yourselves. Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda, that um, that YouTube wasn't letting you comment. Uh, technology is awkward. Looks like she had pulled up a Pingocon. Yes, I do have a Penguin Octo. I had done two of them in a row, and I don't remember why. Oh, Dharma, I love it when you stalk me. It doesn't count when I already know where you live. And and you make really, really good pastries, so I'm going to stalk you right back. Octo Dino Plunger Boy. Wow, that, that sounds, that's, oh, that sounds like a yaoi that really just, Ooh. <laughs> Do not want save early and often. All right, let's see. So we've got the dino is going to be awkward that he's an octo. Okay, so we have to make sure that we have. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we have enough um, feet. No tentacles. Yes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and a tail. Make sure one more because one of these is a tail. Somebody sent me a picture of a baby that they had made an octo feet pants thing for, and he had one stuffed tentacle in the middle. It was traumatizing. Okay, so Obi says he's going to feed me questions which should work out very well. Um, and Amanda said, hi Jenny, watching the stream, YouTube won't let me post for some reason. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm glad to see that, that Amanda did eventually get onto to YouTube. Um, my apologies for the awkwardness. Dude, you live in Atlanta. How have gators not made their way into the devil's panties? Atlanta doesn't have any gators. They used to be all over when I lived in South Carolina. Now Savannah has gators. Um, oh good, Rodney's been able to comment too. Yeah, sorry about the awkwardness. Um, it's like dividing by zero. Yes, yeah, Seattle's going to be fantastic. I've got some friends there. Portland we're trying to get to. Um, so gators, yes, in Savannah. So I went to Savannah College of Art and Design. Let me switch over to the inks. Uh, and there was this river that ran un, um, underneath the driveway intro to the dorms. And we'd always stand there and look over the edge because there was always um, turtles. And sometimes you'd get a little tiny gator or something. Uh, but no, Atlanta doesn't. Do, the, do alligators get that far up? It's probably smaller. Here's that. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Obi said he was going to start feeding me questions. Maybe, maybe I've stopped babbling incoherently and gotten a little bit more entertaining. Um, the hat that my brother made for Christmas, because he is renowned for doing last-minute Christmas gifts. Christmas Eve, he went and bought a whole bunch of fleece and started making monster hats the night of Christmas, you know, the Christmas Eve. And then gave everybody amazing uh, monster hats. This kind of turned into, um, I don't know what I was doing with this collar, but apparently now Kermit is eating a small octo boy. It's very bizarre. Let's check over with YouTube, refresh. Refresh all the things. I have a friend at SCAD. He works on the radio station. I do like the SCAD radio station. The first time I ever had somebody call Savannah College of Art and Design SCAD, I had to cringe and giggle because it sounds so close to SCAB, and that's just gross. The hubby is in the background giggling at you. I like it when he giggles. Um... Okay, awesome. Okay, Obi, Obi is manning the uh, the oh, what, YouTube forum. So so hopefully he'll be able to 
to be a little bit more observant than me. I am not the most observant person. That was uh, walking Kennesaw Mountain with Surly Queen. A car comes speeding around the tur turn, which it's a mountain, so there's nothing on the other side. It's just you drive up the mountain and then you look at the scenery and then you take the same road back down the mountain. There's nothing other than looking at scenery. So usually you don't speed up the mountain. And so this car is coming tearing around the corner and all I'm I'm just standing there going, Oh, that car is going really fast straight at us. Um, Surly Queen, of course, jumps out of the way. So I am not I am the, the girl in the YouTube video that you go, well, of course she got hit by the car. She's an idiot. That's just natural selection. I like this tail a lot more. Okay, so in about 10 minutes, I'm going to start on the suggestion that we had uh, from the patron. Uh, what was the most amusing octo you have drawn? Amusing for me, there's been a couple that are a lot of fun. Uh, some of the more disturbing ones was a um, giraffe octo that I did, which wasn't disturbing until I really started getting into the uh, the giraffe skin pattern. For some reason, just that long neck and then all the tentacles at the bottom was creepy as all get out. Um, let's see, I... It's disturbing octo. There's been a couple that halfway through the drawing... I realize that it's just wrong. Um, there's a sketch that I did of an owl octo, and I went and got photo reference, and so it looks like an owl, which have raptor beaks and all of the, the Wolverine Logan type of hair thing going on. And I've penciled it, but it just looks like a terrifying beast of a monster because it's a raptor, which everything in your little lizard brain goes, run from that, it's going to eat you. Um, and then it's got all the tentacles. So, yeah, there's there's a, a couple of things in life that you go, oh, oh, I'm not I'm not above that food chain, am I? There's there's a couple of things above that. That's terrifying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm missing a tentacle. Oh, eight up there. Okay. There's been a couple of octos that have come out really well. Um, so during Christmas, Obi had gotten uh, sick, and so we left him behind for a lot of the Christmas outings. Oh, poor, poor boy. Uh, and so he set up my mom's... Um, she, he got her an Apple TV, the little box, so he set so she set it up for her. Okay, what is the most amusing octo you have drawn? Okay, I'll try to think that one up. Um, when he was setting up the Apple TV, uh, he found that they had uh, Ghostbusters 3, the one with Vigo. Maybe that's Ghostbusters 2. It's Vigo! So he totally, you know, there's movies that you go back and you watch and you realize they're amazing. Um, pardon me, chips and salsa is better the second time. And so he had me do, we did a couple of days of different Ghostbusters themed things. And, uh, and so we did a Vigo of the Carpathians, um, Octo. And I looked it up because, because the armor is very specific. Um, it wouldn't be very recognizable unless I got that armor right. And so I looked it up and I, I spent way too much time drawing it and painting it. And every time I, I do some actual painting on, on the computer, I start learning new things. Because um, I kind of kick and scream about having to relearn painting on the computer. But then I really get into it because of all the textures and then... And then I zoom too far in and get too into all the details and realize that I've been working for two hours on a one-inch square. Um, so, so the Vigo one, I'm very proud of. And every once in a while, I stop and go, gosh darn it, people, that was brilliant. Why don't you like it more? Um, which there's been so many different cartoons that people and comments that people have made about how what the artist likes isn't necessarily the work that everybody else likes. The most amusing... So in the early days of the Octos, so once upon a time, um, I was doing 
live streams on, I think it was Ustream. And this was a, a camera that was tied to my to my lamp, my desk lamp, um, that just pointed down while I while I drew with pencil and paper. And um, and in the early days, the octos, it was I think we were doing ten dollars for for an octo, and I did it on a little note card. Um, and so I would take suggestions, and the first couple of suggestions were were DOM octos or something, like BDSM octos, and so I would draw a different toy in each tentacle. And um, and then I'd throw in odd things like a rubber chicken. And the octos always looked very startled. And I think uh, I had a couple of commissions for um, a pirate octo, and halfway through the pirate octo, the, the commissioner would say, uh, and could you also put a parrot in the picture, and the person didn't specify um, whether or not the parrot could breathe underwater. So I drew a dead parrot floating next to the pirate octo, and after that, the parrot got a uh, a diving helmet um, for for octos that were that were after the 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 perished parrot. This one, excellent. Okay, let me let me double check YouTube. I don't want a effing plus account. Oh, sorry. It, it, it's, it's YouTube making you get a Google Plus account. One of my favorite octos. Oh, yeah, the details on the on the Vigo octo. Let's see. Oh, good. The the I don't want to effing made it in. Excellent. Oh no. I'm, what was I multitasking on? Oh, reading and drawing? I, I try not to do that. What was the most amusing octo? Okay. 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 Back to work. Back to work. I'm keeping an eye on uh, Twitter, so if anyone wants to ask any questions who don't want to get a Google account and who maybe <laughs> um, who don't want to get on YouTube, uh, then you can comment uh, at JennyBreeden.com. No, sorry, just at Jenny Breeden, and then make some sort of comment or uh, ask a question. And I'm trying to keep an eye on Twitter, and so that way I can I can get some of the input from people who are not on YouTube or uh, Google Plus. And I think um, what what does this mean? Uh, swap the image. Swap the image. Swap what image? The camera. The camera. What um. I don't know where the camera is. <laughs> Hold on, I'll find the camera. It's in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, chaos. Am I supposed to just look at um? My manager tells me that things have to be changed, be adjusted. I don't know what that did. Okay, you did you do things that? All right, we're good. All right, I don't know what he did. He did magic. Um, should I do just drawing? No, here, wait, cancel this, pull up this, move that, full screen, full screen, for, oh, yeah, no, well, because there's desktop, and then there's opening just, um, Manga Studios, full screen, excellent. My, pro my producer is, <sighs> is disturbed by me. All right. Hangout. I can put that to the side. I think. I think that runs itself. Make sure the comments are up here. Pardon, I'm arranging myself. Yeah. Did, so those of you on acid. <laughs> I'm a professional. Okay. Yeah. Something bad happened to Kermit. Okay. Oh, yeah, so in about five minutes, because um, Robert was the one who suggested uh, the the Octo for next. I think he's supposed to have a darker fringe with a brighter. Maybe we should switch this out. Oh, yes, that's, that's truly creepy. Okay, excellent. We'll continue with this vein. Um, 
most amusing octo. There was, okay, yes, so there's the pirate octos. Somebody had all of, like, the who done. Um, there was a pink kitty cat octo that, because I did the eyes as cat eyes, looked way more menacing because it was yellow cat eyes on a pink kitty cat octo. And so it wasn't cute or adorable so much as just creepy. Okay, and then the boy. I think the boy needs a skin tone. I bet he's a blue octo. No, the background is blue. Maybe he's a red octo? That would be weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep thinking about the the skin color, skin tone of the of the thing that's in the suit. We're doing Emerald City next week, and then we're doing uh, Calgary the week after. And Emerald City, I'm going to be behind Lar and and uh, Blind Ferret. I wanted to put um, this streaming Thursday at 8 instead of Friday at 8, because Lar has a thing on Friday at 8. I don't remember when, though. That might, that might, we might not be having a conflict whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I was watching some of Lars' stuff. He had done, during ComfyCon, a, um, origami, adult origami, uh, tutorial. And so I told him that I would be throwing adult paper airplanes at him, uh, for Emerald City. That, that was a bit weird. Okay. Okay. Brown. Yeah, I'm not so good with the multitasking. What was it? Obi was trying to point out to me that that I'm a terrible driver and that I need to, to start paying attention to gauges and the things behind me and in front of me and, and people on the sidewalk. And I said, I do pay attention to, to all the extra stuff. Oh, look, daffodils. And I totally get into to checking out all of the daffodils that have come up. It was a very amusing segue. Um, which usually he'll turn to me about that point and go, okay, that's a cartoon. Write it down. I don't like this brown. That, that, that might be a better, more of a bare brown. Anyway. See what people are saying. Although I think Obi's got this. Wizard of Oz Octo for the Emerald City. Oh! Um... I did a whole series of Wizard of Oz octos. Can be one go wonderfully off topic. Oh, is this gonna work? There was a whole series of Wizard of Oz, and then a whole series of Star Trek, Star Wars. I did a whole bunch of Star Wars. I did a couple of, I want to say Captain Kirk octos. Come on, file. Come on. There we go. Um, Black Widow, these were the all the, the Captain America, well, except, um, He-Man. Okay, let's see. I should not get this far off topic. Nope, nope. Looks like I'm not going to be able to find the, the Wizard of Oz Octos. Oh, these are some old Octos. All right, it's story time. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's 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 PG 13 R ish. So there's the um the parrots started getting diving helmets because the parrots kind of got killed. This was I think the most disturbing octo I ever did. The um Halloween octo in a chicken suit. Um yeah, we did a whole Halloween theme. Yeah, that one came out really creepy. I think it was the tentacles. Very creepy. A librarian octo. Yeah, so there's a, a Captain Kirk octo. It was the red octo in the background that I was very proud of. Um, yeah, some of the BDSM octos looked none too thrilled about their situation. Some of it got weird. 
Most of it got weird. Most of it got very weird. Um, yeah, the uh, Firefly Octo and Rocky Horror Picture Show Octo. Why was I coming here again? There was a reason. Oh, the um, Wizard of Oz Octo. Let's see. There's extras. Oh, gracious. And then these are all the Octos that we had. Steampunk Octo in book uh, five. Um, there's Alice in Wonderland Octos. Let's see if we can skip to Wizard of Oz. Holy crap, there's a lot of Octos in Book 5. Alright then. Star Wars. Witch. Zombie. I'm going to have to post it later. Tron. Star Wars. I'm not going to find Wizard of Oz. Nope, nope. Not going to be able to find it. Okay. I'm going to go back to what I was doing. Just trust me. Wizard of Oz, I, I did some of those octos. And of course, I need to stop checking the uh, the YouTube comments. <laughs> the condom octo. Oh, Ryan. Yeah, some of the things that cannot be un unseen. Um, okay. Wizard of Oz for Emerald City. Yes, okay. Okay. Focus. Let's see, I was still trying to figure out what color the the kid would be. Maybe he needs to be a little bit more orange. Um maybe ooh, a blue background. Yeah, let's do that. I love the undo button. I'm being I'm being harassed for my distractedness. Or it's it's being commented on. Okay, then I'm gonna put a white layer, white layer for here so that we can get a little bit depth. And then get your mind on the oh yes, the meth head. We gotta do that too. Okay, let me finish this up real quick. And then the suggestion that I had from Ryan, which I hope he's here. Um, Robert, sorry. Uh, the suggestion from Robert was Mountain Dew Addict versus Meth Head. Mountain Dew Addict, yes, versus Meth Head. So that is the, the real suggestion art for tonight. This one was just me playing around. Let's see, either his teeth have to be a different color or the kid has to be a different color. I'm thinking we got blue and green and red. We can do purple. Purple's a good neutral. Yeah, that works. Designer, I am not. I tried coloring the comics early on and wow, it didn't work a lot. I have respect for illustrate for designers and for colorists, for writers because I am not any of these things. Um, I tried to design my first cover and it didn't go well at all. You gotta get a freaking degree for that kind of thing. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks. That's creepy. Okay. This came out really weird. A little halo around these. I've gotta actually research and figure out how to keep the halo off. All right, save early and often. Give me a white. Yeah, let's put some bubbles in there. Oh, plunger was that I read somewhere online yesterday. Is always get a plunger before you need a plunger. Okay. 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 Okay, next, save, open, oh, did I navigate away from the screen that I needed? I did. All right, let's go back. Oh, this is, I went down the rabbit hole to a different place. There we go, Octos, all right. Mountain Dew versus Method. Open in Manga Studios. Let's see, I had done a couple of references. Let's get 
my colors in order. Turn over to the pencil, pencil layer. Oh, layers, how I love you. That and undo. They're both just lovely. Okay, minimize this because I need to find where did I put. There we are, reference photos. All right, we need here first. I actually already did a Walter White Octo. What did I do recently that was a Walter White? It was very, it was wonderfully subtle. So there is usually a Dragon Con, which I will always go to Dragon Con. Dra man, every year I kind of hope that I don't um, get a table, get in for a table, so that I can just go to Dragon Con. Um, hmm, I wonder if Walter White. So I'm gonna have him be the. Now, now it wasn't uh, Mountain Dew. It was Surge when I was in college, and all the engineers would get totally into it. Um, Surge was what what all of the computer engineers and everybody would use because wow I, I don't think it was regulated da, da, da. oh that's a person that's not an octo there we go that's an octo Okay, um, oh, so Dragon Con. There's usually a couple of Breaking Bads at uh, Dragon Con, and they usually have the blue candy, and I actually looked it up online, and I found that the lady who made the prop of that blue candy has, that's, that's her website. She makes blue candy props. Um, so I went online to get a reference because um, when I was dressed as a orc at Dragon Con, I kept harassing the nice men in yellow suits for their blue candy. And then I got a message. Remember, Pinkman is the meth head. Yes, but Walter White is, is the Mountain Dew head, so he's a little bit more... Um, Emaciated, he also has the cancer. Okay, so this is the meth. <laughs> so the amount of searches that I've done on Google, I am on so many watch lists. What was it? They found that they, ha they don't have to use nearly as much embalming fluid than they used to because with all the sodas we are already partially embalmed. So there's that. Okay, make sure that I get the Mountain Dews. Oh, are we only going to do this for an hour? <laughs> we might have to do this for longer. I asked a husband if we could go out to a movie tonight after the, the stream and I was like, no, no, we can be done by nine. He's like, no, you can't. Luckily, I listen to him. I tell him some of my, my plans out, lo out loud just in so I can hear them and go, no, actually, that wouldn't work, would that? Okay, so I got the question from Mark Wright. Speaking of Walter White, would you plus OB? Uh, ever consider doing one of the two-year cons in Al... Oh, dang, come on. More, more information. Experiencing technical difficulties. Albuquerque, two-year, two-yearly cons in Albuquerque. If they pay for hotel and airfare, um, we're trying to drop the amount of conventions per year. Yes. Yes. Um... Yes. So Albuquerque, which is just fun to say. So usually I double check to see if I'm doing another show during that time. Um, 
or how much, how far away it is, how much it will cost to get to it. Because um, I get a lot of people who are like, oh, you should come to the show because I can't afford to come to any of the other ones. And I'm like, yeah, I can't afford to go to all the shows either because, um, because man, plane tickets get expensive. So at the moment we are in Atlanta, you can tell by the sirens, hopefully soon we'll be in Portland, but we still have to get some stuff together. Okay, so then, um, so email me about the shows, um, and I will try to see if I can get to them, uh, and yeah, we'd, I'd need help. Uh, because wow, they get expensive fast with, now that the husband is coming to do the shows with me, doing, uh, two plane tickets and food, because he keeps insisting on eating, well, no, actually, I keep insisting on eating, he's the one that goes, no, 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 I've got, I've got beef jerky and nuts, I'm fine, and I'm like, no, no, I need something that has been heated and has fruit or vegetables on it. I think I'm good. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder how many people are watching. Okay, no, I'm, I'm going to focus. I'm going to focus and get these on. And I saw that the guy that played Jesse is in a new movie. I think it's called Need for Speed. It'll be interesting to see. I have heard he is amazingly nice. Like the the tour van came by to uh, to show tourists um, famous people's houses, and he came out and invited them all in for smoothies. Okay. So yes, I I always ask for the the nice men men's candy at Dragon Con. It's the drinks you gotta watch out for, because sometimes Everclear. And it's not cut with anything. So I have found that Everclear makes me mean. Poor guy on that panel. Man, I keep apologizing to him every time I see him. How many legs should there be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, nope, that's weird. Okay. This is why I try to do one octo per, because it takes a long time to draw two. All right. And if you are a patron member, Patreon, if you're a patron, um, oh, I should put Pinkman in. There's his collar. Then you can make suggestions. Well, I shouldn't mention. You make suggestions for what to draw for next month. I think this is going to take up the rest of the time. Um, I'm going to be so legal when I go to Canada because they gave us links to um, seller's license. No, work work permit. That's what it is. They always look at me funny when they find out what the name of my comic is. So I hope that the sound works well. Obi has been going nuts with electronics and uh, trying to make sure that all of our equipment is up to standards. I don't know whose standards they're up to, but man, they are up to some standards. Wow, all of these, I've run out of space at the bottom. Move this, nope, not that. Move this up. Take away the pencils. Add some more. Okay. Wow, that's kind of, yeah, dangly. All right, so now we're going to get over to the color. What color do we think? Skin tonish. Should do straight yellow. Here we go. See what people are saying. Sneak over here. Everclear is no one's friend. Yeah. Um, 
I have number one in January, one in June. January, February, March, April, May, June. June might be? Ooh, I'd have to check my... Oh, Robert's getting cake. Bastard. Save early often. Okay. Crap, I'm going to... Oh, June. I'm going to check my, uh, my calendar because I know the family goes to the beach. My mom, once a year, rents a house and gets... All seven of my siblings together, and two of them have kids, and most of us now have significant others, marriage type things. And so it is a very full house, and, and man, there's a lot of eating. So June is usually when we do that. So I always go. Yeah, family trip to the beach trumps conventions. So we'd have to double check that June convention. Okay. I should be intelligent and just go ahead and frame this and fill. Yeah, working smarter. Um, there was care packages that we would get in college at the dorms that would be a box full of deodorant, and mouthwash, and energy gum, like um, this caffeinated chewing gum. And this one kid would go around and collect everybody's energy gum. I need to double check to make sure he's still alive. He would also go make donations to, um, to the blood bank. Uh, because they pay him for plasma, and I think he would use different names so that he could donate more, because there is a limited amount of plasma that you are allowed to donate, so you don't die. Okay. So I think we got this. Let me get some blue. Meth blue. Oh, I heard that um, some of the actual meth production places where it was putting food coloring in their meth to dye it blue to look closer to the TV show because art and life oh and that the drug CDC to do FBI um, the government drug place taught the actor of Walter White how to cook meth so it could be more real Good, sh very good show, very good show. Oh, I, I had to be dragged kicking and screaming to watch some of it because it, w it was, it got dark, it got real dark, and I just couldn't. Some of the characters, when when it got real dark, and you and I lost faith in some of the characters, and they were just mean. It's hard to watch when uh, when I didn't care about anybody. Okay. Oh, the coloring. Things I didn't go to school for. Okay, I did take a coloring class. So I, so I majored in comic books at Savannah College of Art and Design, and they had a coloring class, and they had a scripting class. And they had drawing for comics class, which was way better than the, than the anatomy class because the professor would have us draw freehand the entire muscular system and, and skeletal system of the human body. He was just insane and awesome. Um, I took an anatomy class later on, which sucked because that professor started us off on... Um, the cell structure, which really doesn't help with drawing. Zygomaticus. I can't remember. I think this is either this is the zygomaticus or this is the zygomaticus. But I know that this is the trapezius, which is the big muscle in the back. And guys who have that 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 bump. Whew, there was a, a guy at the country club that I worked at who was kind of a bodybuilder in high school, and he had that bump, and he, and he unbuttoned his top button on his shirt because we were setting up some tables, and I said, 
you have to button that back up because I can't concentrate. Your your zygomatic is just showing. No, your your trapezius is showing, and I just can't pay. I can't focus when your trapezius is just hanging out there like that. Can't handle it. Okay. Oh, I need to figure out what color Mountain Dew is because it's a very specific neon. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of this. Yeah. All right. I have lost my interpreter. I think he has wandered off. Oh, trapezius. You aren't supposed to be lazy, lol. It, that's most of them, but I'm lazy about tagging. Oh. I don't, um... Although, so they stamp you with a UV dye. Um, this was in 1998, so I don't know if they stu still do that. Eighth of ten. Yeah, my mom's one of ten. Need a complete list of every octo you've drawn so that we... <laughs> oh, oh gracious. A complete list of the octos. Well, because, yeah, I was doing them... I was doing them as uh, as commissions, and then I started using them, putting them in the books. And then I started doing them on weekends so that I could have them filler for the books. Yeah, I don't know who's the um, the addict in this picture. Okay, let's see. More of a black for here. Because it's parody, not, not stealing. Just parodying. Oh, come on, how does that not work? Oh, there we go. I'm in Vans. Okay. So then, I think we're just about done. Oh, my gracious. And we got it close to 9 o'clock. Oops. I think I need more tentacle separation, Walter. Tentacle separation. I think that's really where he went wrong he didn't have enough separation of tentacles. Uh, let me know for next time. Let me know if there was something you rather would have seen. If you had trouble with something, uh, send us a message on Twitter um, to at Jenny Breeden. Wow, I have no idea what that is underneath there. If you tweet at, at Jenny Breeden, uh, with any suggestions of what you would rather see, what would you like to see, what didn't you see, what did you have tr um, problems with, if you had trouble with the sound or with the commenting or with the body odor. I had to stop myself from putting on deodorant for you guys because there was how much prep work I was doing to be, to be in public. Because I live in pajama pants and tank tops. That's the only laundry I do. That and the towels. Um, and so I got dressed for you. I didn't put on pants though, because pants are over overrated. And I only have two pairs of jeans. Everything else is just sweatpants. There. Okay, let's see if I can get a little bit of highlight. Yeah, I'm going to do highlights. Just, oh, come on. Which layer am I on? There we go. Alright, so I think we're good. Um, I will post on Patreon about um, member uh, updates. Uh, so yeah, this is going to go on Patreon for members to see. And then we're going to do another one next week towards the end of the month. Oh, like second to last end of the month because I've got um, Calgary to do. So the second la second to last week of the month. I think we're good. They are awful white. They are very white. Let's make them purple too. Because that's wonderfully creepy is what that is. Mm, maybe I'm going to regret this decision. This, this might give me regrets. 
might give me some really weird dreams is what this might do. So yeah, did a bit of, of pimping of the store because, oh my god, the Devil Girls are here. And I'm just about done with the Kickstarter. Just have to do the trio and the overseas. I've got 25 people who are not in the United States that I have to ship to. And then the angel. So when I say I'm almost done, what I mean is that I'm not at all done. Um, and then... Yeah, it's, it's creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy. I think they need to be lighter. Nope, 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 that got weird. That got very weird. Okay, maybe not. I should stop. All right, so I'm going to see you guys next month about 8 o'clock on a Thursday, second to last Thursday of the month maybe. Don't quote me on that. I'll try to post on Twitter uh, to double-check it. Um, and this is, yes, okay, so there is Mountain Dew Addict versus Meth Head, and I really don't know who has the worst problem um, in that situation. Okay, let's, are you going to let me re, refresh? Blue eyes. Should they have blue eyes? I still need one in my life. I don't wear pants. Oh, kilts are lovely. And you can fit a lot in a kilt. Okay, I think we're good. I think we've answered all the questions, as far as I know. They need bubbles. Um, uh, we've got a high-res version of the Octo that's going to go on Patreon, and so all the patrons can download this. And then next month, uh, we'll have the, the patrons um, suggesting what we draw, and then that, too, will get a high-res. I don't really know where the bubbles are coming from. Maybe something else from the deep. Awesome. So yeah, let me know if there's anything we should change or adjust or do more of. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. This came out very neon. Save. Save often. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, I don't think there's anything else to go over. Okay. Um, Oh, sorry, sorry, that was, I put my mouse in the corner. I shouldn't have done that. Um, so to recap, we have an amazing What Not to Say in the Bedroom coloring book. And we've got the uh, Devil Girl is all, uh, is in the store and ready to be, to be sent out around the world. Uh, awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, for, for you guys on drugs, this is going to get weird. There you go. There there you go. That that's just for you. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. You've been awesome. Um I hope I hope it was good for you. It was very good for me. It's very good for me and, and we'll do it again next month because because you're awesome and I have fun babbling and talking to myself and others in a documented way. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this might be edited for quality assurance. Um, yes, high-res version on Patreon. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Good night. Good night.